All right, so we are back, ladies and gents, part two. And since that objective is gone, we're going to head over to locate the pilot. And let's do it. Shouldn't be too difficult here. As we don't have to worry about those guys anymore. I don't want to take everybody out. I would rather be able to do a mission where I don't have to take anyone but the actual targets out. But since you have to blow things up, and in order to do it stealthy, you have to take some of them out. You can't just blow people up and not ex and expect it to be stealthy. So, kind of a... The game, is, I guess, is not really meant to be, you know, completely stealthed through like I would want it to be. I don't see anybody else right here, but there is a house up ahead. So let's stick to the outskirts here. It seems like it's a little safer over here. For now. Even though that is where our main objective is, right there. Church is well guarded. I can see, I think, maybe a few enemies from here. I thought I was supposed to take that guy out, that's why it said that, but no, I don't think that's the case. I think it just gave me a medal. Yeah, so you'll notice that this walkthrough maybe isn't as perfect and clean as you would think one of my walkthroughs is, but that's for a reason. Um, you're going to see some edits and stuff. Um, I'm not going to show you just straight up fails or whatever, but uh, this is going to be more of more of a um, let's play walkthrough because we're having fun. I don't want to know exactly where I need to go when I'm going through here. Uh, if you guys want that authentic walkthrough, I would rather save it for that. I don't know, buddy. Tell me, what is for dinner? I'll tell you what's for dinner. Officer. Nazi scum. The body of the pilot from the crash plane. Need to grab that film canister. So there's a film canister, okay? I think I've grabbed all I can. This footage could be invaluable. Okay, we can't watch it, I guess. Can we? Nope. Alright, so we've done this objective. Nice. That one wasn't too difficult of one. Still wondering why that one disappeared on us. <laughs> that guy's still... Worried over there. Alright, so now it is time to make the long trek to go back over to here. And clear these checkpoints. Destroy these different things. Make our way up until we get to there. It's probably going to be the hard part. Mainly because we left everyone alive all the way over there, so I'm trying to figure out what is going to be the best route to get back. It seems to me it would be better to make a right here, go up this way, and then across as opposed to going back down and then over. There's so many guards right here, and I feel that would be just too, too risky. So let's save...
All right, so we're gonna head this way now. Casualty of war. Alright, so we've got mines, so we need to be careful. Tripwire. The fuse. Looks useful. There's another one. Just see one. Okay. Nope. I think it's no. I don't know. This will come in very useful. All right, we made it out. Close to our next checkpoint. Three enemies that I'm looking in this direction. Whoa! I have no idea that was, but that scared the crap out of me. Something fell on my desk. <laughs> Hurry up, hurry up. So this is not even the checkpoint. Could be looking out through that window there because there is somebody there.
Ooh, that was close. Wrong buttons here. Need to deal with that checkpoint. All right, four, four enemies, and they're really, really close to other enemies. Well, let me get this guy. I'm really going to have to think on this one, so I think this is a good save point. tougher for the Nazis. All right. Taking care of business, working overtime, workout. All right, we did that without alerting anyone else. That was a challenge too. Let's see what is next. As we're moving up, we'll move along this coastline here and we'll go to the next checkpoint. I love them invisible walls. <laughs> yep, still moving in the right direction. That gets rid of that checkpoint. Let's switch back. I only want to have the suppressed ammo when I really need it. Otherwise, we'll use the uh, the railgun for help. And the only reason I took these guys out is because I wanted to search this crate. It said searchable crate, so. Oh, it's over here. Oh, we're moving a uh, moving our way. That's all. Just TNT. Cause I'm TNT. All right, looks like we've got a. Would this be for... Oh, this would be maybe to clear the checkpoint over there. Maybe you could do it from here. You could uh, set it up that way. But I don't see anyone over there for me to do it this way. All right. 
Hopefully you guys are enjoying so far. I'm trying to keep it stealthy, but to the point of where I, th I feel a sniper would kind of Checkpoint do it. Checkpoint needs taken care of. Uh, you guys know the deal. If we got another checkpoint, we're gonna save again. Yes, the lieutenant hates you. I didn't. I didn't want to be the one to tell you. But... All right, so we've got a turret. We're gonna have to take the long way around. We want to get over here as quickly as possible, even though you could almost be seen, but you should be okay. Then you can mark whoever you need to mark. There's also that big turret right there that can see us very, very easily, plain as day almost. So we're waiting for him to turn around. As soon as that guy turns around and faces the officer, then we're going to go for it. This one has actually been a lot more trickier. There we go. That checkpoint. Ghost killer. All right. So that just leaves. Uh, one more secure checkpoint. Well, let's see. We've made it all the way from there over to that secure checkpoint, over to that secure checkpoint. Um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and save, and then we're going to move on to the next part and hopefully continue around. This is just one heck of a mission, guys. Hopefully you've been enjoying, and of course, I will see you on the next one. Peace out.